Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. Today, I've got my hands on the latest Dyson hair product. Drum roll, please. This is the new flyaway smoother attachment for the Supersonic. So this is a two-in-one attachment that's meant to go on their hair dryer. The Supersonic, it's been around for a while, super famous and popular. It's a compact and powerful hair dryer that dries hair really fast and it's less damaging thanks to its intelligent heat control technology. Plus it has ultra strong airflow. Now, you guys know I'm a big fan of Dyson and whenever they launch new things, I love testing it out. They actually actually invited me a couple of weeks ago to a secret briefing on this product and I got to speak to some of the engineers. So basically the idea of this flyaway smoother came from trying to solve the problem. You know when you go to the hairdressers and they do a very nice blowout and it's so hard to achieve that same professional look at home. That's unless you're actually skilled and can use a round brush to smooth the hair out. But a lot of people can't do that. I find it a little bit difficult doing the back especially. So apparently this is supposed to fix all that. Plus, if you guys have seen the fly away attachment, this is basically that attached with the air wrap smoothing brush. So they kind of like merge the two together to create this. So as you can see, these are the bristles to the brush. So this attachment helps to detangle and also smooth out the hair. So if you want that sleek, straight style, this helps you achieve that. And if you want to switch it to the other mode, you just twist the sides and this turns it into the flyaway mode. So the airflow comes out of that. And just like the old attachment, this actually draws out and sucks the longer hairs in. And then the short hairs, the flyaways, get pushed in underneath. So that's how that works. But yeah, enough talking from me. Let me actually try it out on my hair. Now with this attachment, you're meant to use it when your hair is already 70% rough dried. So I actually washed my hair this morning. It's just air dried like this, but I'm going to re-wet it a little bit just to dampen it. Maybe too damp. So just like the other attachments, this is magnetic and it just pops right in, it clicks. And you can also rotate it. So as you're working on different areas of your head, you can just move the brush and you don't have to angle your arm in weird, awkward directions. And I'm going to put it on level one heat and the strongest airflow or the strongest speed setting. Let me turn it back so I can use the brush first to smooth and straighten my hair. Wow, that was actually really easy to smooth out. Usually I have to use a paddle brush to achieve like a straight look like this. Now the ends are a little bit tricky because as I blow dry, I have to be aware of like how I position the hair because it naturally wants to wrap around the barrel. And because I've got the, the attachment in this direction, it kind of just wants to go outwards, but I actually prefer it inwards. So I'm gonna try to do a C curl with it. I'm gonna try to go in like this and bend the ends in. Does that work? Yes, there you go. That fixed the hair flicking out. I'm just gonna do that with the rest of this half and then we'll compare. Okay, so I have my C curled ends there. I didn't actually section and clip my hair up. I just kind of ran the whole thing through it. I don't have super thick hair. I'd say I probably have like thin to medium hair now because I lost a lot of it. So I didn't have to section it. But if you have very thick, coarse hair, you probably can't do it in a couple of passes. You will probably need to section your hair. But just doing that basic couple of passes through, I was able to achieve this smooth look. Let's compare it to this side. Okay, yeah, well now this is night and day. Obviously this is just not styled. I've got like that natural wave and I've got a lot of layers in here. So it can be quite frizzy and messy if I don't tame them or style it and curl it. So if it's just this, this is what it naturally looks like. But on this side, you can see how much smoother and straighter it looks after using the new attachment. 
I probably didn't do a good job at the back, to be honest, but it's still a little bit damp here, that's why. But so far, first impressions, it's actually easy to use. It's much easier than using a round brush in one hand and then trying to get the hair dry and the nozzle in the right direction. This kind of just simplifies everything and you can just do it with ease. It's pretty much like brushing your hair. Or if you guys have the air wrap, it's very similar to that. Let me just quickly do the other side. So I guess with this side, I'd have to use my other hand for it. I'm getting a bit shiny because it's hot. I feel like I did a much better job on this side. I think I got the hang of it. When I ran this through my hair without actually holding the ends, the brush didn't really grab onto my hairs. It kind of just glided over the top. So I felt like it didn't have enough tension to give me a very straight, smooth look in one pass. But when I actually grabbed this section and ran it through my hair, I was able to get you know, that tension needed. Plus I went a lot slower as well because the hair needs time to dry. When I held it and did a slow pass, it gave me the best result. For the back, it was a little bit awkward. It felt awkward, but I just spun it around and tried to just brush my back. I think it did help smooth it. I mean, I can't really see my back, so you guys let me know if it actually worked. Now I'm gonna do the C curl. I think for this, I'm just going to try to do it in maybe like two or three sections. Cause this brush can actually fit a decent amount of hair on it. Ooh, that was a good one. So what I did just then that was different to this side is when I was working towards the end, I actually press the cool shot to cool it down. And I felt like that kept the C curl a lot better. Okay, so that's my results. I definitely like this side better. I think even the C curl looks a bit nicer. This one's turning a little bit more straight like a J curl because I didn't cool shot it and I ran my hands through it straight away. Now I want to try another thing that you can apparently do with this brush. You can create volume. So I think you turn it around. I'm trying to remember what the um, hairstylist did at the Dyson demo, but it was like this, I think. And then they just brushed the hair backwards or in the opposite direction of the natural hair growth to create volume. Oh gosh, you can see all my crazy baby hairs. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Can you see all my crazy baby hairs? That's how much hair that's growing back now after I had a baby. Okay, flipping it back around. Oh yes, can you see the difference? Right, let me just part my hair into two. Voila, it actually gave me volume. Look at that. That was actually really easy to do. Let's do the other side. Just let it cool for a little bit. Oh, nice. It's given me that root lift. Oh, wow, va va voom. That was actually so easy. Check that out, guys. Who needs to go to the hairdressers now? It actually looks really good. No round brush, no nothing, just just the attachment. Now, I've only been using that smoothing mode. I wanna try the flyaway mode as well. So let's twist it. Honestly, the smoothing mode has done a pretty good job just taming the flyaways, but I have some up here and just like little baby hairs. So I'm just gonna try it out. Need I say more? <laughs> Now, to be fair, I didn't have a lot of frizz after using the smoothing mode, but I feel like if you had a lot of like little broken hairs or baby hairs sticking out, you saw how this actually grabs the longer hairs and then it really pushes that in. So it helps lay it out or lay them down, sorry. Okay, let's do these. I'm gonna try to use it around here because this is the most annoying part for me. 
Okay, pushed some of them down. I've still got a little couple rogue bits, but not too bad, a lot better than before. So now that my hair is frizz free, I felt like it kind of pushed down my volume a bit, but I learned this hairstyling technique from a Korean hairstylist or from just getting my hair done in Korea. Let me show you. You wanna grab the styling concentrator, this little flat nozzle guy, and then just use your hand to push your roots up and then do a blast of air there, let it cool, and then it'll give you volume. Let me show you. Let it cool. Ta-da! Some volume. Just do that a couple of times and... Nice, yeah, very smooth, very smooth. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it could be a massive flop. It kind of shaped my, my bangs a little bit. I'm trying to give it that like, little like wave at the end. Maybe I can do it this way. That kind of worked. Not bad, not bad at all. So my first impressions, I'm a big fan of this. I feel like once you get used to how to sort of run it past your hair and give it a couple of tries, it's a little bit weird at first because it kind of it looks like a little mini vacuum, like you're vacuuming your head. But once you do a couple of passes and you get used to it, I think the results are really worth it. Because if I tried to get this with a round brush, it would take me a long, long time and it's just very fiddly. I'd struggle a little bit more. So the smoothing mode is great. Flyaway mode is awesome as well. If you've seen that attachment and or if you have the air wrap, the flyaway attachment just helps to smooth and makes your hair shinier. It just gives your hair that professional finish, if you know what I mean. And if you have very frizzy, curly hair, you know, after you style or straighten it sometimes, the day after it can frizz up, this attachment would be great for that. However, on top of all that, I have some little bit disappointed at the moment because this attachment is only available in the supersonic set so right now you can't buy it as an individual attachment just yet I feel like they will definitely release it because you can buy the flyaway attachment on its own the old one so I feel like this one will come but at the moment you can only get it in the set so it's a little bit of a bummer if you already have this supersonic because you don't want to go buy a whole new set but I have high hopes that they will release this as a single attachment you can buy here's a quick before and after so you guys can see the results Zen just said my hair looks shinier. It actually does. It looks a lot healthier and smoother. Look, light is like reflecting off it now. I can be in an ad, Pantene ad. Though, no, this thing just ruins it. What is this? I probably can do bangs soon because my baby hairs are all growing out. Hey, hey, almost, almost. I just need another centimeter or two so I don't look so dorky. <laughs> Now, if you're someone who blow dries your hair on a daily basis, I think a product like this will be very handy, especially if you tend to just opt for a smooth, straighter look and you don't want to go in with an extra flat iron on top. Also, if you have damaged hair and you're worried about using too much heat tools, the Dyson is great because it doesn't go above 150 degrees Celsius, which is when hair starts to get damaged. But in saying that, we all know Dyson products can be pretty expensive because it is is a premium range and they have a lot of technology and research behind their products so it's not going to suit everyone's budget so can you achieve this same style using cheaper hair tools yes definitely so if you're happy with your existing hair tools maybe there's no need to splurge on this new attachment especially because it's only available in the set at the moment but if budget isn't an issue and you want to speed up your hair styling process and make things easier and get that professional salon look without the struggle of using a round brush i think this product is going to be a hit check it out i think you'd love it i don't love my baby hair speaking up at the moment 
stay. So that's my first impression so far. I'm definitely gonna be using this more often, definitely on the daily, because what I usually do is blow dry my hair dry to about 70, 80%, and then go in with my air wrap and then use the brush to create that smoothness. But I guess now that's a bit redundant. I can just do that with this new attachment. That is it for me, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Yas. Doubles up as a massager. Oh, very nice.